Okay, so in order to make a pattern um, using an ex existing product, you're gonna need paper and tape, unless you have a really giant piece of paper. You're gonna need the product that you're going to trace, a tape measure, and some clips. If you don't have clips, you could use um, pins or clothespins or something. And now you can use this method to trace any product, whether it be baby size like this or like an adult sized product. I'm using a baby size because it's going to be a little bit easier for the video. And I happen to really like this cover and I would love to make more for JP. So the first thing that you're going to do is kind of get a feel for the dimensions of the product. So first we're going to see basically how long it is. So I'm just going to measure that. Let's see. So this measurement is the rise. And this one is, come on, it's about 15 and a half. And remember this, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going for the general shape and size of a product. Okay, so I got my paper. And what's really great about paper like this is that we know this is a square and so you want to line it up so it's as square as possible and then just to kind of double check that it's square I'm going to use this that looks pretty good all right so now we know 14 inches so I'm going to or 15 and a half excuse me so this is 16 and a half so I'm going to draw a line that's you know, half an inch here from the bottom. You know, and that'll be the bottom of the product. And then we'll draw a longer line here at the top for the wings. Okay. <clears throat> and then of course, this is the rise of my item. And now, so with patterns, you always do the half pattern so that way, when you cut out something, it's going to be symmetrical on both sides. Because the last thing you want is to have your product be different shapes on both sides. So doing the half pattern and cutting it out on the fold is going to ensure that you're going to have that symmetry. So now what we're going to want to do is fold the product in half. Okay, so now we've got our paper with our long line for the wing and our shorter line for the front of the diaper. And now we're going to line it up and we're gonna to have to stretch the elastic so we can get the right the right length. And so this is where I I like using the clips, but you can also use pins. So I'm just gonna kind of line this up the best that I can. And because of the curvature of this, we'll only be able to do um, a couple of the clips at once before it, you know, it starts to pull away. So we're going to start with this. And so I'm going to stretch this. I up and I'm going to stretch it. And I'm going to make a line here, like this is where the elastic is and then we're just going to trace around this and now you're not going for perfection because that is not realistic on something like this but you you know you want to get it as close as you can and so now you know you're just gonna have to go slow stretch as you go and go slow. And now that I've got that, I can come down here and clip another one. With the elastic, there's really no graceful way to do this. So I'm gonna just try to tuck that. Cause what, cause in the end we'll come back and um, 
make the lines, we'll clean up the lines. What we do want to do is mark where the gusset begins. Which it begins about right there for the bottom. Okay. All right, let's see the damage. So as you can see, this is very messy. And so we're just gonna have to kind of come in and, you know, trace smooth over the lines. All right, and then just make your marks for where the elastic is. And then, now we just need to draw out this. So the top of the gusset is six inches. So it's six inches by two and seven eighths. So actually I'm gonna draw this. So we know this is two and seven eighths. On the gussets, it's pretty much, pretty much a guesswork on that. All right, and so now you can mark out where the snaps go. So let's see. These snaps, you want to mark from the center of the snaps, are about one and five eighths from the top. So you can just kind of make a line there. And so we know the first one's about right here. And they are about one and a quarter distance apart. Alright. <clears throat> you know, you could do the same with the rice snaps. I am not putting the rice snaps on this one. And you can see these are kind of angled down. So we're going to see how far they are up here. It's one and a quarter there and it is about two, well one and seven eighths down at the bottom and that is about half an inch from the edge. mark how far apart these are, which they are three quarters of an inch apart. So we'll just mark three quarters is here. So now what we want to do is measure how much the elastic is not stretched out. So, not stretch the elastic here is about three inches. So we'll say three inches. And now obviously for the top and the bottom, since this is folded in half, it's actually going to be 8 inches for the top and 6 inches for the bottom, and this will stay the 8.5 inches. And that's how big the elastic will be that you'll cut. There you have it. That's how you make a, a rough draft of a pattern from an existing product. <laughs>